Hey everyone, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review and this time what we have is the Katayama VG10 Gyuto 2 10mm knife. So this knife has one of the more interesting finishes I have seen in a while. It's really cool. We're going to take a look at it. Uh, but uh, this knife has a construction of hardcore cutting edge steel down the middle is VG10 full stainless steel heat treats about 6061 Rockwell and then they've got a soft stainless alternating layers uh, finish on it it's a little you can see there's a fair amount of polish there so it's a little tricky to show here but if you look it's just got these kind of tactile looking layers to it that are really neat and uh, you can feel that when you run your fingers across it it's got a fair amount of polish to it as you can tell but just a really interesting finish it's as i said this is a it kind of mesmerizes you must want to keep looking at it so um, in terms of weight and dimension these can vary a little bit from knife to knife this particular one is 159 grams or 5.6 ounces and the um, cutting edge is about 214 millimeters uh, about 8.4 inches the overall length about 14 and a quarter inches with this handle spine thickness these have a little bit of thickness um, at the spine and I've got a, it's a fairly stiff blade so it's, it's kind of got a stout feel to it so I got about 2.6 millimeters at the back here about halfway down I got about two millimeters and then not a lot of taper off of that so pretty much it holds that until you get to the grind the grind is fairly generous you can really see of course where those layers start popping on the cladding and then gets down towards the edge and it's a fairly generous grind and it's pretty thin right at that edge so this will be an excellent performer at that tip and then let's look at the, the back side of the choil shot and you can see it's also quite thin at the edge so this should be great on the performance side of things uh, blade height is about 52 and three quarters so on this particular one so some height to it and it has an octagonal handle that's made out of what they call kiyaki and then a walnut although to me this looks like uh, brown kind of a walnut e packa wood so it could actually be walnut kind of looks like packa wood to me but either way it's very nice looking and uh, nice tight glue up job there so nice fit and finish on this you can see the width of the neck here is just about exactly the width of the handle so you can just run your finger up there really easy for a pinch grip the balance point is right about there and that is for me Maybe a touch in front of my pinch grip, but pretty doggone close. So that's going to make this feel pretty nimble and neutral on the balance point with a pinch grip. Let's get our beauty shot. Hopefully we can appropriately show this here. It's going to be a little tricky. There we go. Let's do that. You can see hand engraved kanji, which is really nice. It's... Um, Got a little bit of a feel to it when you run your hands across it. And then again, those layers are just super cool. A fair amount of polish to it. Here's the right side of the blade as you'd be using it. Again, just super cool finish on it. Uh, the fit and finish attention detail is really good. Uh, they've got a really nicely rounded polished spine and they've done a lot of work on the choil here as well. So that's really smooth. Out of the box edge, six, maybe seven out of ten. It's got a nice out of the box edge on it. Um, clean grinds is just a, you know, excellent fit and finish. It's a nice looking blade. Should be a really good performer. It's all stainless. So let's take a look at the cutting board profile here. So this one has a pretty high tip, kind of loop halfway up, so a fairly aggressive um, curve to the edge or belly <clears throat> towards the tip. And let's look, we've got a pretty decent flat spot in about the back half here. So this will chop pretty nicely. It flows very well. The profile's smooth, so it flows right into that heel nicely in a stop there. But you can also get fairly high here for rocking so this will rock cut glide cut push pull cut tip draws you got to go a little high for that because of the way the kind of aggressive belly is there towards the tip but fairly versatile profile if you like a little chopping area towards the back this would work really well for you but just a real pretty knife 
A lot of attention to detail on this, some work put in on the polish on it. Nicely crafted. So this is the Katayama VG10 Guto 210 millimeter knife.